So if any one of you over there, anyone in here? Calgary all-age drag events have become the target for protesters. Small groups against the shows have gathered voicing anti-2S LGBTQ plus sentiments. Some protesters at the events are the same individuals who protested COVID-19 health restrictions when they were in place and now have shifted to these protests. It's definitely part of what we understand to be a an, an arc of uh, far-right populism that we've seen uh, really thriving over the last few years, particularly through the pandemic, and that is very much fueled by a rise in conspiracy theory belief. The Canadian anti-hate network's Hazel Woodrow says that the recent hate-motivated crime charge against a pastor that disrupted a Calgary drag reading event is promising, but they are more interested in focusing on the efficacy of community defence. And how in a lot of um, these incidents of you know people pro protesting against um, drag story times across Canada, the most effective uh, way of confronting that has been through a community defense as opposed to a uh, like a policing solution. The anti all age drag show protests have created a movement among the 2S LGBTQ plus community. Counter protesters showing their support for the shows have far outnumbered the anti drag protesters. And I think the current example is a perfect example of how that emerges that, you know, the community is under attack and the community is facing this hatred and this division. And so the community then comes together to defend themselves. The protests have surrounded all age drag events, but now one Calgary queer nightclub for adults has posted on social media that they have received a phone call threatening to burn down the bar if you come near my kids. The, the LGBTQ plus community is always on the front lines of this kind of hatred and division. And so the first way to kind of target them is through this rhetoric of grooming children. But the cause is bigger than that, right? This group, this right wing group wants to sow division. And so children isn't going to be the last of it. It's a convenient starting point. In Calgary, Danina Falkenberg, City News.